what's up people? I'm IGP and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. We're currently heading up to the Hawkins Manor to find out what exactly happened during that fire. Now this game is a lot more interesting and in depth than I imagined it to be. And I'm gonna be honest, the reviews I had seen prior to playing the game all said that after an hour, they were just ashamed of the game, they were bored of it, and they didn't want to play anymore, and they refunded the game. But it just seems like all of those people who threw this away in an hour are just not the type to explore and go deep into a story. There are a lot of gamers like that. For me, this is ever so intriguing, and I have enjoyed every moment of it so far. It's been building up like crazy, and the entire last episode was really just exposition and story, which is incredibly important for a game like this. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Yeah, dude, I'm actually terribly sorry about your scars. I know she can be a bitch sometimes, but she's really not that bad. You just gotta be, a, you gotta be equal to her. Like, you gotta be, you gotta treat her the same way, you know, and she'll respect it. You know what this reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of, uh, that scene in The Dark Knight, when the Joker was set out to kill the mayor, or to attempt to, and he didn't have his paint on. He was just, uh, dressed up as a guard. Anyway, I thought the mansion burnt in a fire. This place is falling into ruin. You know the place very well. Let's not waste any time. Uh, let's see. I thought this mansion- I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I got other questions, buddy. Who, who the hell you think you're talking to? Although I will say I was out of line with that statement. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. They've nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Oh, I still have questions, my good friend. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or... If there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Uh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You're not the first to talk about Winchester. Uh, yeah, let's do that Your first. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up All right, there? at this point, dude, you know I'm going to ask you more questions. I prefer to be prepared. If there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Let's go. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. <laughs> I'll go with you. If he's only an to asshole. Silas. He's like asking him all these questions, and then he's like, All right, man. You've kept me long enough. Why not? You can help. Yeah, please help me, dude. Right. You got a gun and Let's stuff. Go. I don't have anything. I'm just a private investigator, dude, with a journal. All right, let's explore around here. Does anyone else feel like the field of view is slightly low? I guess I can't change it, but what is this? <gasps> what the hell was that? Oh, it's the wind. Dude, I heard a squeal. That was so scary. <laughs> Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. 1693. Wow. 
Wow. Where are you going? Are you just following me? Or oh, this is the way. We can't just go straight up there. I like how he brings us to the entrance of the manor, but like he knows that we have to go around in a strange way. So it's like, hey, let's go in, but then we still have to travel like five miles. Uh, I laid me down and slept. I awaked, uh, for the Lord sustained me. A huh. bunch of Bible verses. Hilltop, uh, same thing. Okay, so there's multiple ways to go up. I guess I keep hearing squealing. So, I've been told that this game is going to get really freaking weird really soon. In fact, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll play some clips from the trailer. Just so you can kind of get an idea of what we're going to be expecting here. Madness is not a curse. With five feeble senses, we pretend to comprehend the boundlessly complex cosmos. I have seen the dark universe yawning. The gods pity the man who in his carelessness can remain sane to the hideous. <laughs> Sanity is a curse. Madness offers the only freedom. Again, it's always worth the wait for a game like this to build up. Oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm going to miss some bits of exploration here. So we can get to the front door here. Hello. I'll have to find another entrance. Fantastic. So he lives here, though. Silas. He's not going to kill me when I get in here, is he? He said he's not that dangerous, but he's sturdy. It'd be like the the uh, Rob Zombie version of Michael Myers, right? Oh, there's a tombstone. Hey. Ooh. There's Hawkins. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Uh, such a strange final resting place. Yeah. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Yeah. He's kind of a dick. Let's go to the mansion. Yeah. Well Please then. give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. Aww. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Huh. Nice observation. Well, we got one over here too. Poor kid. Poor kid. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say. Okay, so we can't go this way. That is the burial site. Oh, right. I got to get points. Everyone's saying I should put some more points into occultism. I can reset stuff. The medicine and occult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Uh oh. Is that a change? Because didn't I raise up medicine myself? I thought I did. So there you go, folks. Everyone was telling me to put into... uh. <laughs> Occultism, but I can't so I guess investigation might be a good idea. I do like the the speech options So I'm gonna put one more into that. I can't reset them. I thought that's what this means I could just reset them and put them everywhere, but nope validate that How am I doing with my sanity still only one thing look at all these traumas I could potentially encounter in this game. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's try to get into this mansion I think probably around here, right? Can't go up there. The log is there than this area. Ooh. Creepy. Wow. Dude, this is the perfect viewing spot if you want to see Cthulhu rise up. <laughs> of course, apparently the mythos uh, indicates that no one can actually set sight on Cthulhu, right? Because they go into a catatonic state and they go insane from what it is that they are witnessing. It's not only like physically in their own realm, but in other universes and everything just kind of pierces through their mind and they succumb to insanity whoa 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 wait a second was that just a glare 
Or like a... A bloom? What the hell was that? Okay, I guess it's just a glare, but that's kind of weird. I was like, wait a second, not only are they putting out light for ships, but other types of ships. I'm just kidding, that would be insane. Oh, hello. Whoa! Small wooden whale. <gasps> Dude! Hang on a second. I know it's, it's probably not as surprising as I just made it sound, but I actually went to a Goodwill, uh, and I found this. This thing. It is in the exact same shape, except I couldn't buy it because they didn't have a price tag on it and they didn't want to lose money on it. Regardless, I was like, I would like to put this on my desk because it looks dope. It's a little darker than this, but it was pretty much this. Maybe it was made by a sailor. Maybe it was way more expensive than I thought it would be. Okay. I guess I can't go in this way. I could probably get over the log, I guess, right? Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. You can't jump over this dude. I know you're a private investigator, but come on. No question of leaving now. I must examine the scene of the fire. Wait, I can't take this lantern? Come on. Come on, dude. All I have is this measly light. Oh, right, there's this passage. I forgot. Did I? I didn't go here. No, I didn't. Okay. This entrance. Shit, dude, me. he scared me. God. Yeah, get it, dude. Oh my god! Whoa. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. He looks like the actor that played Rorschach. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Oh, God. Uh, grab his axe. I work for Stephen Webster. You are hindering the work of police. Ah, I guess police. Put down the axe, and I'll forget that you threatened a cop. Show your badge, cop. Oh, and I then we can talk. What a smart guy. You don't guy. need to see my badge. You're a bad liar, city boy. For the last time, tell me why you're here. Dude, he seems so and frantic. No baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident, but Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule, and I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Okay. So, first of all, baloney was misspelled. It's actually spelled as I sounded out, Balagna. But whatever. You know, I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be like that. You wanna get rid of me, Sarah Hawkins? was important to you, yes. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what wow. you have to do. That was Go really on, easy. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Yeah, dude, that was really easy. Thank you for being so easy, dude. What now? Wait. Give me a second, dude. I'm exploring. There's stuff to be found. This gate is locked. Okay. I mean, you got a key, and you could also probably clear that. I'm just being serious. I know, like, you'll be getting in trouble with the law, but... I mean, come on, dude. What worse can you do? Ooh. Wait, there's a house down here. Oh, this is probably where he lives. <gasps> can I... Dude, you could totally take that. All right, gotta look around the house first. I'm just so dreaded for the moment, like, when I look out and there's Cthulhu just standing up there. Oh, hello? No, wait, I didn't even... What am I doing? What am I doing? Stop. Stop it, dude. <laughs> I just wanted to look around, not break in right away. I mean, I'll break in if I have to. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. <laughs> Yeah, he seems like a drinker. The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time 
isolated from the world. Okay. <laughs> I was like terrified he was gonna be behind me with his axe. All right. Ow. Oh, that is a nice mechanic. I like that actually. It hurts after a while. It's got to cool down. Also, it will run out of fuel, and I don't know how to how to refill that. So, all right, let's go into the mansion though. That's what we came here to do. Let's do it. Oh, Pierce, shall we enter? Now that you finish your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Okay. Cool. There we go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. All right, we're still in chapter three. Okay. Uh oh, that's a hooded man. Ah, oh, dude, I'm not ready for this. I'm not. Le I'm not ready for the Lovecraft to just swarm over this game right now. I mean, it already is. It's just uh, not the horror part, you know. It's been so calm so far. Follow me. Yes, sir. I know the place. Okay. All right. I'm Who gonna... left this light on? Yeah, right. It's not even electricity. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell, dude? I'm assuming there's, there's a face back there behind him, too. Look at that. It's a hooded man. Oh my god, dude. This is so creepy. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What the hell is that? <sighs> okay. Let's reconstruct the place first. At least I feel like we're safe in here. What kind of meat is this? I don't... <laughs> Who are you asking? I don't know. Oh my god. Duh. This looks like a Cthulhu head. This place is for the head of the family. Yep. Charles Hawkins. Oh, why is he so angry? He looks like me. Wait a second. What? All right, there's a car. I'm, go I'm guessing Sarah and Simon. What is this? Fire poker, or, or that's the get all the ash and stuff out. What else? I can't do anything else. Wait, what? What is this? I didn't know I could do this. I can hold right click and I can kind of like lean down. I didn't know this was here either. The boy <laughs> I'm dumb. was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Uh huh. What's wrong with the boy? The mom was here. Sarah Hawkins played. Why did she leave it untouched? Uh, Something happened at this table. An argument? Clearly. Aww. She's so caring. You can just see it in her face, right? <sighs> hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Yeah, dude. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Oh, what fucking timing for that. Jesus Christ. Okay, wow, this is way more dilapidated than I thought. Oh, hey. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. Yeah. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Yeah, that's a good description. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm drinking some coffee here. Oh my god, no, this is where it starts to get really bad. Oh, dude, this, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not in, in, the, in a good uh, frame of mind right now to go through this. Where was it? Here? No, this is where I came from. Okay. Okay. Where'd he go? That way? All right. Well, I'm going to go this way. Fuck. This mansion is terrible. Who is that? It look. What? You had best stop it. Oh no! Let me explore first, please. Okay, good. I do like how it Too is. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Yeah, I do like how it's a little bit lean linear. It was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? That is a strange picture. It almost looks fake. I mean, it is fake, but I mean, like, intentionally fake. Like, maybe I'm supposed to pick up on that. Charles Hawkins poses like an explorer in front of uh, exotic ruins. It is common knowledge that he wasted away his fortune on expensive trips. What was he looking for? Fucking Cthulhu, dude. 
The, the old ones. He was looking for the old ones. I hope we get a little bit more exposition into the mythos. I hope so. They seem happy. But Charles is already looking off into the future. His marriage just a stop along the way. Dude, actually, that's a great observation. He just looks like he's not there. Like, he's not all there. Not mentally, but he's just like... He's preoccupied, you know? Alright, fire scene. Oh. Open that up, dude. There we go. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. <laughs> Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Please. Okay, let's do this. Ha ha! They had a fight. Why? Oh no. Did it stop at the time of the fire? One could say that or shortly after, right? The child's corpse left a trace. No. Where are the others? Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, look at her, just like, scared of him. Jesus Christ, what was he into? I mean, I can only imagine, right? <laughs> uh, table? Yes, there's something on. Hello. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? He slapped her out of it, dude. So she's unconscious. What? Hmm, aha! He was drinking. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Yes. You said that- Oh, fuck! <sighs> you said that earlier, dude, that you knew he was a heavy drinker. One can only imagine why. Did someone escape the fire? What? What? Charles? Oh. There's the, the painting. the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? What the fuck? Dude, that is way more revealing now. That's Hawkins, but he has something on his face. It looks like the piece of meat he was eating earlier. It Obviously, we're looking at some uh, crazy stuff here. I'm getting out of this. I don't like it. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. Jesus Christ! This was a fight. <sighs> Alright, buddy. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, detective, what do you make of it? <laughs> Dude. The police botched this investigation, the clues don't match. The fire wasn't I just I firmly an believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. What? What do you mean? What are you talking about? One way to be sure about what? Keep going? You didn't have any more questions for me, that's it? I just ask that you don't disturb anything. Okay. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Yeah, I bet, dude. Hold on, there's gotta be some books in here. I gotta increase my occultism. I'm assuming that's not gonna happen until I actually encounter anything from the cult, so... That's probably the only reason why it's even... This up door right is now. locked. Oh, right! I actually have two more points, I think. Three points? Okay. Yeah, I have nothing for occultism. That sucks. Let's get everything up to as even as possible. Uh, eloquence and psychology. I kind of want to be well-rounded with more of an investigative he headspace, you know? Ooh, there's a rat. Hello, rat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, I'm, I'm seriously just terrified that he's going to just pop up. He, as in, it. I know people are just like, Oh, Cthulhu's not- It's such a dumb part of the, the story. There's so many other more dangerous entities. And yeah, I've seen... Oh, 
Okay. This is a book. Yes! Medicine, dude. Let's go. Okay. Aggression. Which means, yeah, 20. So we get 2% per book. It's kind of nice. Eventually I'll be able to... If, if I had it up high enough, I could have told... I could have been able to figure out what the hell that, uh... Hurt that, uh, orca. And also what the hell was on that plate that they were eating. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. Aha! What are you? These bandages are covered in dried blood. Yeah. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. This is And very given true. the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Wait, why is that icon in the bottom left? Does that mean there's something I can find? Ah. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. God, I don't like that sound. <sighs> so, ah! Crowbar, let's go. Crowbar, found in the Hawkins Manor. It's probably belonged to the caretaker, Silas. A crowbar? That's a good. Could prove useful. Oh, it could. Like, right here. You can move that with your hand. Oh, we've been here, I think. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't like any of the sound. They're just getting worse, dude. This is worse than Visage. Did you hear, like, the little footsteps? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. An original edition? Jesus, dude. Did I get points? Did I get points for that finding that crowbar? I did not. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Shit. Hey Hawkins, you're kind of fool of yourself, weren't you? Oh boy. Well, no, there's a bunch of photos. I feel like it was commonplace for people to just have giant portraits of themselves because it was like a a high class thing, right? Ish to get a portrait because it took a lot of work to do something like this. See, it just sounds like someone's banging on the freaking window or something. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Yeah, for sure. Haha! Hmm. -ha. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Yep. Man and giant creature of the sea, if you know what I mean. A copy of the novel Moby Dick by Herman Neville, a classic especially for the family. Of ship owners, yeah. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Yeah, probably. Be warned, there are dangerous things in the ocean that you should not entangle yourself with. Okay, I'm hearing 3D sounds coming from out here. Okay. Hey, buddy. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Possibly, yeah. I mean, that's how it usually works, right? Ah. A comparative analysis. The human body. A precise and very detailed treatise on the particularities of the human body compared to the animal world. The simplicity of its writing and vul the vulgarization of its vocabulary make it accessible to the profane. Yeah, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> Fuck! Dude! Why does it kind of make such a loud noise? I hear chanting. I hear Gregorian chants, dude. That helps a lot, please. <gasps> Storm is, has already brewed and is coming in. <laughs> I was going to say it's a brewing, but that's probably a misstatement because everyone says that and it's not actually applicable. What is this? Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692. Yeah. By two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book sense. on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Ooh. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. Yeah, that is strange. What the hell? 20,000 leagues under the sea. Yep. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Rare edition of Jules Verne's novel. Yeah, some would say that he has a keen interest in that. You know, I wonder why. Playing this game. I wonder why. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? What? Sarah? It says, Dear Sir. Dear Sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Oh. 
Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. Uh, if these disturbances were to recur, uh, believe me that, although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Anton Wellard. Well, that's not good. What's she doing? She's probably freaking out because her husband's a fucking whack job, dude. I would do the same thing. <gasps> oh, shit. God, another one. Right away. Becoming more and more frequent. Don't like it. Don't like it. I could fall down, maybe. Oh, no. Bradley? Where are you? Bradley? Please get over here. Quickly. God, fucking rats, dude. Fucking rats. No, it's locked. locked. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Oh. Is this Simon's room? Oh, no. There's clues. Clues the to be found. boy's room. Oh, never mind. Reconstruction. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? That is an awesome fort, actually. Using the chairs and stuff. That's exactly what I used to do. I feel like everybody has done that, though. Tom Sawyer. Ah! Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Oh, God. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. Yeah. What was wrong with this family? Right. God damn it, Charles. What have you done? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Yeah. Something terrified him. <sighs> oh my god, dude, this is building up insanely. I am so scared right now. Boys room. Okay. Let me check over. Is there anything else? Ah, hello. <gasps> the argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Uh, Simon's private journal. He seemed worried about his mother and her attacks. Tension also seemed to be growing between the Hawkins couple. Could the fire be the result of an argument? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Mother is screaming again. She cries a lot. Father is sad too and angry with mother. I don't know why she blank. It's on Tuesday. Saturday. Today with mother, we played in the garden, but she is still sad. I hate it when she is sad. Is she angry with father? Uh, Sunday. Father scolded me. He started out. He started. He uh, started loud and want. Oh, he shouted loud. Sorry. He shouted loud and wanted to spank me, but mother did not want him to. He is always angry. Why? There are lots of strange things in his office. I just wanted to look at them. Oh, no. Tuesday, I built a castle for mother and me. Told her to come and hide with me. Oh, my fucking God, dude. <sighs> Stories of abuse like this in front of a kid is just... <sighs> just depressing, man. She's always... Uh, painting monsters. I don't like her monsters. I have bad dreams and they come into my bedroom and look at me. I cry and mother shouts at me and father says that I must take tablets. They are not nice. I don't want to take them. Oh my god. I know this is not real, but god damn these words <laughs> just like eating at me. Uh, Wednesday, mother is sad again. At lunch, we ate in silence. It was strange. Father said, finish your dishes. Uh, we always eat the same thing. It looks like rotten fish. And it smells very bad. Why does he always want us to eat that? It's not very nice. If we have to eat it again tonight, I will throw my plate on the floor and smash it. Yep, that's what happened. Well, that probably fueled a lot. Poor Simon. Here's your little castle fort, dude. Yeah, protect from daddy. That's what I would do. Jesus Christ. I don't know why that gets me so much, dude. It's so sad. Just complete innocence just being taken away. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> Sorry, that turned sour real quick. There's something in here, though. What am I missing? 
So whenever things are stacked like this, I assume something's hitting, hidden behind them because that's what it's pretty much been. Maybe, oh, it might be up here. You heard that, right? That is someone following me, dude. What will her room reveal about her? Oh, maybe it was in here. No, it's not. There's something in here. Maybe I don't have, oh! Office key. The key that opens the door to Sarah Hawkins' office was concealed. All right, what are we gonna find in here? I think it's just a house creaking, but it's still creepy. And I don't know if I actually touched that that door. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. What is it? Tablets. Uh, Dover's powder. Uh, barbiturates. Uh, they act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that, I know something. They act as a depressant. Oh, I guess like a downer to, uh, to level anxiety and stuff, I guess, maybe? Jesus. All right, so this is the office, I'm assuming. Haha! -ha! Wait, wait, no. I don't have to pick the lock, dude. I have the key. Perfect. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought that was someone sitting in that chair. Jesus. Ugh, close that door, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no! Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Fates uh, brought us together and for forever it will bind us. That's so Oh no, 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 you're not thinking about it logically, Pierce! Charles Hawkins scribbled a kind word to his wife. Bullshit! Because I'm gonna bring you into this cult thing, too. I'm assuming that's what this is. Let's not pretend like we don't understand what's going on here. I know Pierce doesn't, but we do. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Damn. Damn, for that time period, dude, that's a lot of it money. Seems the last one Good was shit. given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Uh, because they're friends? He was making a sculpture of himself. Jesus. Jesus. What? What? <laughs> oh boy, this looks so good. Oh, wait, I hope it Nope, don't go in there yet. Don't go in there yet. We gotta check out the this, this seance. Occultism. Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult. Hmm. Looks like a revocation ritual. Was she trying to invoke something or banish it? Probably whatever the hell Charles became, right? What? What? Shh, don't, please don't do that. What are you? Sarah are you? Hawkins' ah. agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. My very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last ones, so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Uh, do not forget your friend who was the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Oh, maybe that's who the painting went to. For free. Wow, that's kind of that's kind of douchebaggy to say that. Like, I uh, remember I helped you become successful. I made you who you are. Give me all your money. Bradley? God, is that you? It's not fucking Bradley, dude. It's not Bradley. I, dude, I can't do this. I am so built up right now. This is insane. <sighs> okay, just do it, dude. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Oh God, fucking! Duh. Where did he go? Oh, we're back here. Okay, that's the child's room. The door's open now. No, no, no. Wait, there's still something here. Oh, I got it. Okay, never mind. Oh, Bradley! Is anyone there? Where is Bradley anyway?
God. That's me. That is me, dude. Okay, chase him, Stop. I guess. Catch the thief. A thief, dude. He was wearing an occult mask or something. Oh, there we go. Now we get some action from him. Okay, where'd he go? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see oh, anyone. no! I just heard some I'm noise. going insane, dude. I'm slipping into that madness. Right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Okay. Um I'll cover you. Thank you. Let me switch from light. Wait, when did I pick up this lantern? Oh. Yo, that is a cool. I love that. I don't want to waste the oil on it though if it if it does this have oil. This door was closed but... earlier. Wait, which door was closed? This one? Where did he go? Must have got out some way. Yeah. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. He's not hiding in here. The bookcase has been moved <gasps> several oh, times. Wait. Yeah. Yep. I I know what that is. It's a freaking door. Oil refilled on my lamp. Okay, so I can superpower the lamp if I need more light. Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Okay. It map. looks like an old seaway map. It does. Okay. Seems like this came from Whoa. a log. Sailor's Logbook. Monday, 24th, May, 1847. 42 North, 70 West, Darkwater Island. We sailed north all morning. Captain Hamilton is confident. He says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. Sunday, 30th, May, 1847. 47 North, 55 West. So we're heading, uh... So we're heading a bit northeast, I guess. Uh, I preferred it when the whales disappeared without trace. Uh, with these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is eating these huge beasts? I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. Uh, we dropped anchor near a village. Still going the same direction. Uh, the inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the search or the sacred beasts, and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. Uh, we have sighted a huge whale in the distance. It seems size to be beyond anything known to man. Oh, fuck me. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. Uh, we've caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I have ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memory as the biggest catch. Oh, this is the, uh, the big catch. The magnificent catch, I think it was called. Uh, men have died, but we have gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Darkwater, we have beaten the Orpheus, returned with empty holds. The Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. <sighs> well, interesting. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Yeah, imagine that. Oh, wait. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Yeah, I'm going to pull that, and then the, the bookcase will move. Oh, so I have to figure out, I have to point it towards where, uh, I have to point it towards where they, uh, freaking, wait. Looks like it worked. What? <laughs> I, I literally let go of it because I wanted well to look done, at my notes. Please. What did I point at? 45, uh, 30, yeah, I mean, I guess, sure, dude. As if the bookcase has been moved several <laughs> That's times. That's actually really hilarious. Oh no, chapter four. Tunnels under the Hawken Mansion. Inside the Hawkins mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken to search the place, looking for proof. When a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop uh, to steal a painting, detective and police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley enter the tunnel. 
under the mansion. All right, so Bradley Secret staying with passage me. Hey. Under the manor. It's like a detective novel. It really, that really guy must is. have already gotten far. Yeah. yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must three seats. Oh. Sorry, I wanted to hear the rest of that. God damn it. All right, let's reconstruct Look, this, I guess. Someone's been here recently. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Did he? Who were the others? Uh, excuse me. What is wrong with your eyes, dude? Are we making our way to the tunnels of the... What happened in the beginning? What is this mask supposed to represent? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Don't ask me. I mean, I know he's talking to himself, but still. What is this? Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. Yeah, probably that mask. Oh, what is this? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Oh, that would make a lot of sense. She discovered what the hell he was doing down here. Okay. All right, it's piecing together, dude. Can I lock this? Sim oh! What does it mean? Series of studies of an, uh, on an unknown symbol. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. I progressed. Ah! 10%. Oh, I got four ki- Oh, Jesus. Alright, two here. Everything's at 40, and then raise this up to 75. Let's go. Let's go. Confirm that. We're pretty good right now. Oh, hey, Bradley. Hey, buddy. Guess we're going down here. Are you coming? Or are you just gonna stand there? That's fine, dude. That's fine. Alright, let's just use a lighter right now. I don't need a big light. What the hell is down here? Just water? Seems good. Hello? Locked. Of course. Yep. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's gotta be other entrances. Yep. Probably the down here. passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. If you say so, buddy. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. You're not gonna go with me because you don't want your uniform ruined? Dude. Can't you just get another one? What the fuck? Oh, hell no, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I? I can't crouch. This is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Where am I going? I can't go over here. Oh. Right here. Hi there. Oh. oh. What was that? What was that? Oh, I made it out of the water. I don't like the water at all, dude. Don't like it at all. Some kind of dream catcher. Yeah. If I, I touch it, it'll turn to dust. Yeah, probably. Oh. Oh, no. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Let me look at this. Sad stuff. way oh. to go. Wow. An old diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 2. In this volume, there is a mention of the beliefs of the Lost Tribe. They worshipped an entity that spoke to them in their sleep. The whole tribe seemingly disappeared in a mass sacrifice to the glory of their deity. Wow. Sad way to go. Yep. It is a sad way to go. These paintings must be several centuries old. Oh, <gasps> wait, but that's, that's her painting. Look, it, it has the same structure as the painting we saw earlier. That Sarah, Sarah drew. Maybe she was trying to recreate it to keep it in her mind after she came down here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, what is that thing? I don't remember all the details of the old gods, but if that's one of them, I ooh, Ugh. no 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 no. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Yep, all of these. What are these? These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? Asleep, I assume. And dead. I mean, it could mean the same thing to for for them. That is creepy. I don't like that. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. 
Dang, she was drawing buildings? Is that what that was? Handprints everywhere. Runes. Oh, wait. There's a jaw of something. Damn. Oh my god, I'm so scared to go forward. What? What is all that? Why is it glowing green? What? What? Oh, I made it past. Good. Still locked. Oh no. Way too much water down here. I'm not comfortable with this. I wish Bradley would get his ass over here, dude. He's literally, he has a gun. What do I have? Nothing. Time has weakened these structures. Yep. Better be careful. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, it's liquid of something. What? Can we go down there? I think we can. Hello. I don't have time to search them all. What is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. What in the hell? It looks like animal oil, but certainly not whale. How? What makes you think it's animal oil? <laughs> oh, God. All right, I need to go upstairs here. I need to get to a better, a better place, a safer place. Up here with this green fire. That is so weird. How come no one's commenting on how the fire is green? Oh, look. It's another one of these. Fuck. Fuck me. Oh no. What's going on here? Seriously. <gasps> oh Beers. god! Keep your voice down. Seriously, shut up. We're not alone. We are definitely not alone. God. What have you got me into? You can leave, dude. You've already basically we'll see. proven yourself useless I'll to me. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. I can't believe he even wants to go, dude. This- it's literally not a question anymore that this is a cult. Look! Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Wait, what? Oh. I gotta go over here? Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, I thought he died. What the hell? Okay. Uh, I think this is probably a good time to pause it. I'm all out of time. I keep getting- I keep losing track of time because I love- I love this game so much right now. Uh, but I'm gonna pause it here. So I'll continue in the next episode, which should be out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see some more. Dude, I could jump down right on top of them right now. Anyway, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified as soon as I upload the next one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!